Hi, this video will demonstrate how to evaluate an exponential function. Notice that now we've moved to exponentials, our variable x has moved up to being an exponent, okay? So now it's a power. So that is what makes this an exponential function as opposed to a different function that we've been dealing with, like a linear or a quadratic. Now our variable x is in the exponent, so we have an exponential function. I'm going to do three different examples, okay? So what we're going to do first is just evaluate an exponential function, okay? Remember when we evaluate something, we go to the function, and here I'm going to evaluate it where x equals 3, wherever I have an x, I'm just going to plug in a 3. So in this first case, this becomes 1 fourth raised to the third power. Okay, and now we know that equals one fourth times one fourth times one fourth. Okay, or we could just write this one over sixty four. Okay, or we can use our calculators to calculate this for us, or I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel. So in Excel, we can actually use it as a calculator. And I've got in column B here what I'm going to actually type in um, to do my evaluation. Okay, So we're going to hit equals. Equals tells it to actually do a calculation. So the first thing you're going to type is an equal sign. And then we're going to open per, uh, parentheses and type in our 1 fourth. And now the way we do exponents in Excel is with what we call the caret or the little up arrow thing and then cubed. And it returns to me the value of 0 0.016. So that is what my function would be equal to, okay? 0 0.01 in decimal form, okay? To make sure we got it right, 1 over 64, we can compare the two. So here I'll say equals 1 divided by 64. Okay, and sure enough, they're the same answers. All right, but notice on your calculator or in Excel, you're going to return a decimal value. It's really no good way of getting the 1 over 64. Okay, let's try a different example. Example 2 here, I've got f of x equals 2 times 3 raised to the x, where x equals 2.1. I did this example to show you the only thing you're going to raise to the power is the thing is the part directly next to the x. Because there's this parentheses here, we're not going to raise 2 to the power. The only thing we're going to raise to the power is the part immediately next to the x, which in this case is the 3. So we get 2 times 3 raised to the 2.1 power. All right. For evaluation purposes without a calculator, I really can't do much more than that. I know 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, so that would give me a rough estimate. But having this 2.1 here it makes this a little bit more difficult. So again, I'm going to go to my calculator or to Excel and calculate the exact value. All right, so once again, I've got in column B what I'm going to type in here to get it to evaluate. I'm going to say equals 2 times, and now I need to use my parentheses, so it only raises the 3 to the power. 3, again, use my caret to tell it to raise it to the power of 2.1. Hit enter, and I see that my decimal equi equivalent is 20.09. We had guesstimated approximately 18, so we're very close. Okay, so it's 20.09. All right, and again, I just want to point out the only thing we raise to the 2.1 is we raise 3 to the 2.1 before we multiply it by the 2. So if you're trying this with your calculator, remember, raise 3 to the 2.1 before you multiply it by the 2. And here we do something similar in this last example. Here we want to evaluate this function when x equals negative 2.4. So I can say equals 4 e to the minus 1.2 all right, times a minus 2.4. If you're using your calculator, you're going to want to multiply minus 1.2 times minus 2.4, raise e to that power, and then multiply by 4. Once again, I can't really do anything more than this unless I have some tools such as a calculator or Excel. So let's use Excel. Here, I'm going to type in equals 4 times, all right, 
in Excel, the built-in function for exponential is exp, and then you do ex open parentheses. Exp open parentheses says take e to whatever I type in the parentheses. In this case, we want a minus 1.2 times a minus 2.4, okay? And it returns to me a value of 71.26. So that would be the exact value, or the approximate value for this, 71.26. So evaluating exponentials is not very difficult, but you do need a tool, such as Excel or a calculator, so that you can come up with the exact values. Otherwise, you just have to approximate them.